we go. Welcome back to Full On Football with our guests tonight from the Sports Wrap panel from 88.7 Coast FM, Raj Singh, Nick Malerba and Kevin Agostini. Uh, guys, this is Premier League time. Your thoughts on the Premier League? I mean, having a look at that ladder, have a look how tired it is. Very even, isn't it? And yeah. all up for grabs. But the Comets uh, have been the form team all year, so they're going pretty well. But uh, Adelaide Olympic and the Hills chasing him quite nicely. So it's going to be a, a really close lead up to the finals, I think. Nick, what about you? Oh, look, I think um, the team that's probably surprised me the most is probably Adelaide Hills. I know they've been a very competitive unit, but uh, just to be where they are and win some close games, even away from home, I think they've uh, surprised a few people. And uh, probably even to a lesser extent, Comets, but, uh, but they've had a fairly good uh, deep squad, haven't they? Uh, they've had a good. They've had a good run. They've, mm. they've put some good matches together. And as I said, Adelaide Hills, of course, with the coach Steve Maxwell there. You know, great legend, one of the legends. Yeah, of he's South a very. Football, we're so all like down there. He's a, he's a great he's guy. A, he's a players coach. I just have to play. say for Adelaide Hills, chain. <laughs> 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 That's just an in-house joke. When we had Steve Max along, we were changing all night. So, yeah, it's great. What about yourself, Kevin? I have a theory in relation to the soccer. I think if you call your name something, Adelaide something or other, <laughs> yeah. you've got a very good chance of actually ending up in the top four of the season in any league. Seems to be that way, yeah. doesn't it? We've got a, wouldn't it be amazing if we had all the Super League with just teams that had Adelaide <laughs> as part of their well, name? Might be a bit boring. <laughs> the top three are all called Adelaide. We've got uh, in the... Uh, in the uh, Super League, we've got Adelaide City at the top, so Adelaide's very prominent. Yeah. So I think if it wasn't a name of team, I'd call it Adelaide something. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, look, let's have a look at the results from Round 12 first, and we'll have a little bit of a chat about some of these matches. So, results from Round 12 for the Premier League. We had Cumberland United 1, Adelaide Hills a nil. Great win there by Cumberland, uh, defeating Adelaide Hills, knocking them off second spot, uh, with Zerillo scoring the goal there for Cumberland. Pirates 2 going down to Adelaide Olympic 4. Adelaide Olympic coming back from their loss last week. Um, Kulukeris and Totoli for Pirates. And Jovanovic, that name keeps popping up every week. Mm. Jovanovic with the brace. Uh, Hearn and Kostopoulos for the goals for Adelaide Olympic. Adelaide Cobras 1. Adelaide Comets 1. That was a very late goal there by Comets to uh, get that game into a draw. Icalaro scoring for Cobras and Tunis scoring for Comets. Panthers and Enfield uh, took out a nil-all draw there, so uh, at least it wasn't a loss for Enfield. That's something positive for them. And Western Strikers 4, Norlunga 2, so a good strong win there by Western Strikers. Muscara scoring a brace, Fester and McNeil scoring for Western Strikers, and Vet, Vetti and uh, an own goal for Norlunga. Norlunga. Nick, having a look at some of those matches... Um, no surprises with the Western Strikers one. I think they, their form's been reasonable, and I know that they, they tend to play well against Nolunga. The surprise one, uh, probably the uh, Cobras and Comets. Uh, uh, good good uh, result for Cobras there. Uh, well, Cobras were in the lead for most of the match, and final, very, very, very late goal there coming for Comets. Um, and the Adelaide Olympic uh, Pirates game, 4-2, uh, that was a great comeback for uh, Olympic, considering they've, 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 they've been, their form's been a bit patchy, but they've had a... It's a young side, so it takes a little bit longer to... Uh, get their uh, stability going. Mm. No, that was a good win by them because they, they came off a loss last week, so uh, that was a big loss by Comet. So I think it was a 6-1 six, six, loss, that one. So, uh, a big thumping. Yeah, it was actually. So, uh, And Kevin, what about your thoughts uh, regarding uh, Cumberland defeating Adelaide well, Hills? Well, to be honest with you, the, this is my favourite league because anyone's got a chance here, apart from Enfield City and no longer United, of actually making the finals. There's a lot, it seems to be a lot more competitive than the other divisions. Premier League always is. I love the Premier League because it is so tight and we always see plenty of goals in the Premier League and that's one of my favourite leagues because it's just so competitive and it, it's, they take it right down to the wire. It can be right up to it's the last match. It's a caution to the wind. Very much so. <laughs> Actually, let's have a look at the table that we're now that we're speaking about where everyone is at the moment and uh, the table after round 12 and have a look at the top five. We've got uh, Comets 26, just pulling away ever so slightly here, Adelaide Comets, uh, Adelaide Olympic on 23, Adelaide Hills 22. So Olympic went into second spot with that win. Pirates are, are hanging on there in fourth position on 19, and Western Strikers on 18. That makes the top five. And then Cumberland on 16 with Cobras on 16. And then a little way down, five points down, is Panthers on 11, uh, Norlunga on 8, and... 
you know, Enfield on seven, and as we say each and every week, the surprise, mm. Enfield not doing that well this year. I am a bit surprised, aren't you? I think they've, got, they've got a bit of talent out there. It just doesn't seem to be gelling. From all Look, reports, there, there's a few I'm, disgruntled players not quite fitting in. I'm not sure about disgruntled players, but I've seen most. I've seen quite a few of their matches, and they don't play a bad game. It's just that they can't put the ball in the back of the net when when their opportunities are presented. And um, it's very unfortunate because they were one of the powerhouses in the Premier League, finishing a second in the last two years. And uh, when we've got two spots up for grabs to go up into the Super League. They haven't performed, and it, it is a real shame. Well, and, got, Enfield, sorry, Enfield's always been a hard place to win. Definitely. At home, they're a very hard well, team to beat at home. Not so much this well, year. If goals we win matches, they've only scored 10 mm. goals in uh, 12 games. 10 goals, and seven of those have come from uh, one, one player only. Mm. So it's amazing what's happening there. Mm. So, uh, yeah, well, as we said, there's, there's no fixtures for the Premier League um, uh, this week, but of course we've got those three teams that are in the FFSA Cup, which is great for Premier League, which are the Western Strikers and Panthers are taking each other on, and uh, Pirates are up against Adelaide Blue Eagles. What do you, how do you reckon that, that game will go? I'm probably uh, more for sentiment, I'd say. I think the strike. I'm leaning towards the strikers. I think they've got something a little bit more to play for, I think, and uh, try and... Against Panthers? Against Panthers. I just uh, feel they're just a little bit too strong. And Raj, what, what do you, how do you th think uh, Pirates will fare up against Blue Eagles? It's going to be a tough task for them, but uh, having said that, they're in a position where they've got nothing to lose, so they're not really expected to win, so I give them a very good chance, actually, and I'm um, maybe tipping an upset there now. I think well, the Pirates might well, get home. That's <laughs> a very brave can move. Just, can I just add a little teaser to that yes. one? Um, Pro Loisidis has left White City Woodville and has gone back to Pirates oh, and he's go. their striker, so who knows what the will happen. The game is at Pirate Park, so they'll it have is. a lot of support down there, he's so not. get behind them. Is he eligible for a cup game? He's actually not in the cup game. You're right. He's not in the cup game because <laughs> no. he's cup tied. So that may, may, not, may uh, not take so effect straight away. Then, that won't right? take any bearing on the match, but, you know, they could do it for him. Mm. <laughs> yep. He's back home, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's sure, great. You'd, on form, you'd have to go Blue Eagles, wouldn't you? Cup matches are very strange animals. Yeah. We've seen that last year. We saw how far Northern Demons came last year. Yeah. They, they had a great match against Metro Stars, and, uh, look... I love cup games because they're so unpredictable. And what about that big one, Campbelltown, Adelaide City? Whoa, that is going to be a beauty. I think I'm going to be down there with my camera. I know uh, Campbelltown are seeding over the last weekend's loss, mm -hmm. uh, um, and so are Adelaide City. So it's going to be a battle of the wills. Who wants it more? It'll be a great one, and I think I'll be there to capture it all. Um, as I said, it's time now. We're going, we're going to take a few, uh, a short break with some words from our sponsors. Um, so stick with us because you're watching Full On Football. Here we go.